so much going on here. Every day is more exciting than the rest. I swear, today now we have water in tanks. At first, honestly, I mean, the lights aren't too bright, <laughs> so I couldn't even really tell. But now I'm like, okay, wait, there's water. And then I was freaking out too. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. But when I'm looking, I was confused because it looks like the rock wall, they put it on the back of the bottom part too. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what kind of threw me off. And then I'm looking, weirdness of the top of the water and the bottom of the wall. I don't understand if it's me, if it's my eyes, if it's off. But regardless, it's probably something we're gonna have to address and figure out. But either way, it's still awesome. Has water not leaking yeah that's a good thing <laughs> but i can't say the same for the archer tank. this one is full look at it it's so cool i just love how the tree is like in it out of it this is so cool and interactive without even being interactive so this is such an amazing exhibit but there might be an issue so we can see here that some water is leaking out. Yeah, we got the pig pads in there and yeah. all that, huh? So we're soaking that up. Like, listen, if I'm gonna pick a problem, that one, I hope, isn't that big of a problem. It's not like it's gushing out all over the floor. Like, but it's good it, that we notice now, it's right? It's 100% good that this is happening now. And this is what, part of the reason why we have to put the water in, is to make sure they hold water, right? <laughs> Along with the leaching and everything that goes on. Fingers crossed, this is something that will be an easy fix. So the other day, Jeff was working on the turtle pond. Now I get to to see what exactly he did. Wow, there, he did a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the pink went, panther no, foam anymore. Yeah, he, he definitely covered up all the foam and, and changed all that. This is really cool. I like the look. I like what he's going with on that. We kind of gave him free reign, you know, as far as design. And I really like it. Just a couple concerns on this. I guess we got to talk about water levels because I don't know if the turtles are going to be able to climb out. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, we had to lower the original turtle pond level because <laughs> escaping. So we don't want that to happen again. So we might have to talk about that, but I love the look, those logs and, and everything in the rocks. Like it's beautiful. Like, this is going to be so cool. I don't know about the fake turtles. I think those might have to leave. But other than that, <laughs> I'm really liking the concept. I guess I see part of what he's doing and, and I guess we got to see how it finishes. We have boy filled. This is one of the first tanks that we built here here at the aquarium. So we're gonna start the leaching process. That is a super important process for us because it's gonna make sure that whenever we put the real water that the animals are gonna be living in, that it's safe for them, right? Sweet, so sweet. it's gonna prevent any pH um, fluctuations, anything like that in the tank for animals. Um, the fun thing is that when you put water in something, you know exactly how level it is after that. And so the tank's level, which is super cool, we know that. But if you look right here, I hope you guys can see it. It is the bottom of that leaping wall is not exactly level. So. I'm gonna have to figure out if it up uh, if it's unlevel either up at the top or if it's cut a little wonky at the bottom. Wow! You know it's gonna be cool when you put crickets on here. Oh, uh, and the artificial bing 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 bing. Yep. It's so cool. Awesome. So what what do we got going on next after like what is the leaching process? So entail? leaching is about a week and a half. Once we do that, we're ready to drain, clean, and then we can get that water that we want them to be in. We're actually doing that for a little bit longer than what like the sealers typically recommend, but we're just doing that to make sure it's all safe for aquatic life. We have the caps in here. So on the other side, koi tank is all self-contained. It's a little bit different. This one is not. So we have these core drills right here. What I need to do is have them plugged with something that is temporary but able to hold enough water for that pressure but still be able to get it off so that we can put our permanent plumbing in so that's kind of a fun little challenge but i love it now the thing that i noticed here though is that we do have a little bit of water oh, no. uh, kind of leaking now i'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with it i'm hoping what it is is that it's just the concrete on this one is a little bit rougher around the core drill so it's harder to get that good seal and everything else around the our, our other exhibits is a lot cleaner so it's a lot easier to get that seal i'm hoping that's what it is because that's an easy fix if it's not definitely not an easier fix and we're gonna have to have some concrete work and, and repair so let's gonna, cross our fingers it's not that yeah, right I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this figured out as soon as possible because if it is the worst case scenario we want that fixed immediately if it's best case scenario we can fix it today. Well, the day finally came where the start of the installation of the bridges happened. So obviously this isn't the finished product. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we're going to have some talented people coming in here. Right. <laughs> this isn't the finished product, but it's a start. We have the base. We've got the iron. This is great. Is this still how the lumber is going to look? We're going to do plywood like this? <laughs> Probably. This is not the look that we want to go for. It's probably the cheaper way, but not the best way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, we do have you know, the lumber going on the top, finishing problem right now. We're at the holidays. And obviously nobody's going to work on Christmas. We understand that. So we're probably looking at another week or so after the new year, possibly before it's finished, finished. But at least 
It started. All right, guys, so the other good news that we have for the aquarium is that our first coat of paint is done for it. So I'm gonna do the second coat today. That way I can get started on the sealer. And then that way we can have this being ready to be leached. It's gonna be our biggest exhibit. So we want this to be starting the leaching process as soon as possible. So it's really important that we get that done. I'll be covered in blue paint again today. So. Biggest <laughs> surprise of today actually was coming in and seeing the parking lot line were painted. Like we knew it was coming, but I didn't know they were gonna do it today or was it today? Yeah, yeah, it was today. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, this yeah, is yeah. amazing. Like, I love it. Now it actually looks more finished. It's more structured to where we know where people can park. We even got handicap spots. And you know what's my favorite part about the handicap? The wheelchair racing <laughs> spots. I was just every talking time, about this. Every time I see these, it literally looks like they're racing. It makes me laugh. <laughs> well, the funny part is, is the older logos are not like that. <laughs> no, they're very, like, chilling. Yeah, yeah, this guy's I've got been, somewhere to go. I've been saying that forever. So I'm really happy because we didn't get to choose great choice. Another thing we're working on are the floors for the back of the house. These things are almost done. They're turning out amazing. I love it. They're cranking them out. Once these are done, then we're going to start working on the outside floors. So that is going to blow your mind. These are beautiful. Those are going to be amazing. I think the beams are something like this. Yes. Yep. Yeah. They're in there. So my thought right now is the counter is going to go along that and then like curve like to right here. Okay. To, to make an entrance. So it's almost going to be like an L. Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, the last coat is almost done. I'm just now doing the edges. But I'm going to figure because I actually do need to ask you. So, right here, this is where the 795 meets the paint. The silicone. Okay. So, I did two different options so that you can look at it. I can either do even, like as straight as possible along the wall like that, and then we take this gray paint and match it here, or we take the blue paint and go above here on a line. Uh, I like this better. I don't think we should bring the blue up. I said the same thing. Everybody is going to be doing this, and that would look weird versus, yeah, I agree. So, what so I can take the do, gray down. What yeah. I'll tell um, Ahmed is whenever he comes back, if they can just match this and just cover that, and then I'll just do this as straight of a line, kind of go with the grooves as possible. So, yeah, because that's like, so, yep. yeah, because it's not even, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, and if the rock, if, this is the thing too, it makes more sense for the rock to even maybe go a little bit in versus the blue coming out. Put some kind of like texture on this wall, not just this wall. Dry, like just more textured a little. Like stucco almost? Like, kind of, you know, a little bit. It's yeah. maybe, I just think it would look kind of With cool. With the paint? He said there's different ways of doing it. If I just send him a sample of what we kind of want it to look like. I always thought just on. find it online and say, you know, duplicate this and we can do a sample. There's roll on textures, there's trowel textures, there's whatever you want. Not the just rag, flat. There's the rag texture where they mud it. They put a rag on it and pull it away so it's got peaks and there's so many different options. It's like saying, it's, pink, it's like a paint color. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's all super textured. Like super roughed out yeah, and stuff, super yeah. Out. Okay. That looks like rock a little bit. Like how dark were you thinking? Pretty dark, because I think the green will look better, you know. Yeah, more contrast. Yeah. I mean, you sent me that one pick, it was kind of light to me. Yeah. And I just don't know if that'll look cool with the I, I'm call, almost like the brown, no lighter than the brown tree that's in there. Like pretty dark, like a dark brown, earthy, and then plants all drop in front of it. Because we'll light it, we can do some cool lights shining down on that wall easily. And it'll just, so I it think won't just the be green will drab. We'll oh, no, no. be the, able to pop it up with lights. Yeah, well, I think okay. that's, it's just a background, I think. The brown is just a background. It is not the feature. It, it matches pretty, pretty well. Yeah, because I see it like obviously mm -hmm. it's named pretty good because when like, you have it up there, it's not like yeah. black black, but it's no, like. No, I wouldn't want to go black black. I think black black would look cheap. Too much. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's yeah. very cheap because you don't so get the perfect. shadows and stuff. It'll look better. Just, I agree. It's like always a shade lighter to this, it gives it a little more life. Because mm -hmm. I love that because now that we have this coming up, it's yeah. literally like they're swimming I think it's in. Look the so thing. Yeah, I can't build this wall. My filters are massive. How am I going to get them in here? We have to start talking about paint colors for walls that go behind tanks before we can actually start filling water in those tanks because we can't have the guys ladders in the water when they're painting and all that good stuff. So they're on their way over. We're going to talk paint. See if we can get something nailed down so we can get these walls painted tomorrow and get water in all these tanks. And what an exciting day today, guys. We got lines in the parking lot. We got bridges installed. We got water going in enclosures. Hopefully we can figure out what's going on with that leak so it's not like a detrimental thing. Keep your fingers crossed. 
lost on that. But it's so awesome to see things finally getting done around here. Speaking of done. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.